Yeah, Coach, um, just in, in your overall comments on how the team fought and uh, scoring at the end of half and in the game, yeah. how important that is for you? It's, it's so important to us, um, something we – we try to work all the time. You know, you got to win situational football in this league. And I was proud of the way the guys competed. We got plenty of things we got to clean up. Um, but these guys kept fighting no matter what group was in there. That's what you wanted to see. We want to build a program that, that uh, values winning no matter when we get a chance to go compete, whether it's preseason, and regular season. And, you know, we have the perspective, you know, nobody's handing out T-shirts and hats because you win a preseason game, but you like to see that competitive in progress. And then we got to get back to work on Sunday. And the uh, play of the quarterback, Marcus Early and Dennis yeah, I thought Marcus came out and um, he was sharp. He really operated, I thought, at a high level. And that was good to see to take a drive, go all the way down the field and score, you know, match theirs. Um, and then I, I was proud of Desmond. He came in there and you want to see these guys how they handle adversity. It wasn't perfect, a lot to learn from, but he kept swinging and, you know, had some plays. We, you know, we got caught a break there on one with the penalty. And then, you know, he had a couple drops, but he didn't, that's what I like about him. I like his mindset and he just, Found a way to make a play at the end. And what about uh, the uh, opportunistic plays of D. Alford and Timothy Horner? Yeah. Get the ball back? Yeah, they were, they were huge. Um, uh, you know, the difference in the game. You know, be able to get those turnovers and get points off of turnovers. So, uh, you know, to create sudden change and to be able to to reward the defense to put points on the board. Uh, any update on Drake Lennon? No. I mean, like all our guys, we left a couple guys home. Um, we'll see. You know, it's it's. To, to give you some kind of snap judgment, you know, we, we'll see. But I, I, like all these guys, we'll, we'll find out more tomorrow. Uh, the first defensive drive? Um... Yeah, we had a miscommunication um, on a pressure and dropped a player. And, you know, we got to work that out. And, you know, we, I thought we came out pretty physical, stopped the run. But you know, we have a miscommunication and handed them a big play. And then, you know, didn't like the fact that we didn't get them off the field. But we had a lot to coach off of from there. And a penalty wise, it was four for 29, like pretty clean. Uh, yeah, I mean, go, yeah, I mean, the, the ones that you got some penalties of aggression, uh, you know, in the fourth quarter, some of those young guys got to communicate better. And you know, the too many in the huddle, we were able to overcome it. But that's the stuff, the pre snap stuff that you can really control. We wasn't too bad for preseason one. Yeah, but what about the tackle? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, guys that flashed. I thought. I thought some of these young guys tackled well. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. Oh, go ahead, Tori. I, I was just wondering to go back to what you were saying with Desmond, particularly. How did you feel like his in-game command of the offense was tonight? It was good. I mean, there's some things that you got to correct, and some things that I had to get him on the sideline about that he may not be able to see from the stands. You know, the way the call went in or whatever. But for his first performance out there, I thought it was pretty solid. I know, and, and you know, <laughs> you like to have guys that you got to pull back because we talked about it. You're in a preseason, wanted to get out, get a good drive going, but he can't help himself. We got a lot of guys like that, and, uh, and so you want to have guys that you got to pull back, not the guys you got to push to make go. How many of those runs were designed? Zero. None of them. We didn't have any designed runs. We have plays that um, will continue to evolve there, but it's a preseason. We're not going to show our hand on a lot of the other stuff, but. When you have athletic quarterbacks and you're able to move the pocket, they're going to be able to extend plays. The plan was to just put them in for one series? Well, we're going to play them a quarter. Oh, and yeah. we went down and matched it. We had a pretty long drive, and yes. that was the plan. Okay. Cordero was in for the first snap. He wasn't back on after. Well, I mean, we didn't get into the, some of the other situations. Do you have him on your fantasy team or something today? Hey, maybe. <laughs> well, we, had, we had plenty of plays for him. We kept moving. Didn't feel I needed to call him. We'll see. With Marcus, is this the type of physical runner that people can expect him to be in the offense? Marcus? Yeah. I mean, he's going to put it on the line. I mean, there's some things you're going to want him to get down and slide, but um, he did a nice job. I mean, he's a, another player that's got a lot of speed you got to defend from sideline to sideline. Did you discuss Jared's present of mind to fight his way to that, that last touchdown catch? He Bernie? Jared, uh, Bernhardt. Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bernie. Yeah, I mean, Bernie's was the guy. <laughs> What's that? Cross, cross guy, and he was also won the national championship at Ferris State last year. Yeah, he got recruited to be an option quarterback by the uh, service academies, too. He's a good athlete, competitor. 
He's continuing to progress. He's so hard on himself. I was joking. He, he walked up to me at the end when I was sitting there, and he was upset that he did something, told me he didn't run a good route. I said, Bernie, it doesn't matter, man. Just compete through the down, and you came up with a play. Tyler's a tough, tough kid. Yeah. Do you like that physicality? Absolutely. That's why we drafted him. He had a block on uh, Rivers run toward the end of the first half, too. That's what yeah. started. Well, that's the stuff we value. I mean, you, you don't just magically happen on game. It's the way we train. And if you come out to one of our practices, you'll see that these guys compete at practice. And it's good to see it show up. We know we've got a lot of work. It's a preseason game. But I like this team. I, I, I'm thankful every day I get to coach this team. We weren't going to make everybody in it, watch a tie. No. Like I said, I mean, we wanted to win, but I don't think Joe Gibbs and Tony Dungy went to the Hall of Fame on the preseason record. So, you know, you play the situation, and we weren't going to do that. Professional in the books. How how you feel? Uh, I felt good. Obviously, we could have went out there and executed a little bit better. Um, you know, some of the players wish we could have had back. A um, couple drops, a couple misreads. Um, so, you know, really just excited to get back tomorrow and Sunday and uh, get back to work. On the positive side of execution had to be the, the two minute at the end of the first half and at the end of the game. What do you like from those scenarios? Uh, just being able to get points on the board. Um, you know, whatever way, whether it's a field goal in the first half or obviously the touchdown right there at the end of the game. Um, but, you know, obviously when you start a two minute drive, one is taking care of the ball, um, not taking sacks, not having any dumb plays. Um, but then, too, like we said, put points on the board, and that's obviously what we wanted to do, and that's what we did. So, like you said, that's a positive. 59. Last play for us there, uh, get flushed out. Uh, what do you see? What are you trying to do? And yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was cover one, man, uh, one high safety. And, you know, we had a fade on the backside, so I was looking at that, and uh, he kind of got beat up off the line, so I kind of progressed off of it and, and came back and felt an edge. Um, so I just kind of, you know, rolled out to the right. Fourth down, um, fourth and nine, I think it was, fourth and ten. Um, but, you know, at that point, you know, you got to give someone a chance. And I saw it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Um, gave my guy, uh, Bernard Jarrett, um, a chance. And, you know, he obviously came down with it. A huge play for us. How influential has Marcus been in your development? And what is the relationship you guys have? Oh, uh, we have a great relationship. He's like a big brother to me. Um, but, you know, anytime I need something, whether that's at practice, whether that's, you know, off the field, um, you know, he's right there for, for me to go ask him anything that, you know, I need. Um, I think, you know, he takes pride in, in seeing me go out there and do well as well because, um, you know, it's, it's just like a, a sense of pride for him just being able to, you know, see that he's helped me get to where I'm at too. What is it like being in a quarterback room like that? It's not always the case when you have an older guy helping out someone that's a rookie. Yeah, no, I'm definitely blessed um, because, you know, like, I got to have a guy like Marcus who, you know, is one of the most humble people I know. and. Um, for him to, you know, have all this experience in the league and for him to be able to just share with me and, you know, not hold anything back and, you know, not care about the situation that we're in, um, you know, it's just a blessed and humbling experience. 59 rushing yards in this game on six carries, so almost 10 yards per carry. How are you able to be so effective with your feet? Uh, you know, really just letting it come to me. Um, you know, once the holes opened up, you know, it was all in the pass game. Um, just, you know, really seeing seeing the holes open up and just taking off, just trusting my feet, trusting my reads, and uh, just getting it done. That's part of my game. I want to go back to that first touchdown also. You threw it to Parker, and that was just, uh, I think, two plays after he had what maybe was a drop in the end zone. Yeah. Was that something you did? Was that something they wanted to do to kind of go right back to him? Uh, no, that was a play that we had been working on. You know, we, we had liked uh, you know, the scheme of it and how it worked. You know, I went up and told Parker, uh, you know, a after we scored, I said, hey, let's just get it done on the first try um, so we don't have to come back and, and give it a second go. Um, but no, you know, he, he had a great route there. Um, and then I just gave him a ball he could catch and only he could catch and, you know, he came down with it. What's the biggest thing you're going to take forward from this game back to Flowery Branch and into the next preseason game? Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is that, you know, obviously we were on the, the positive side of this game, but, you know, you're never out of it. Um, and, and, you know, on the, on the flip side, you know, they're never out of it either. Um, so, you know, just being locked in until that clock hits zero. Um, you know, me and Coach Rags are sitting there going through, even when they got 10 seconds left on the clock in the fourth quarter, you know, we're sitting there thinking about what they should do um, for when a situation arises for us and, and that happens. Um, so just really being able to, you know, take every single moment of the game in um, to learn from it and become better, is, is, I think it's going to be very beneficial. Preseason games are obviously about learning who you are as a team. So what did you learn about the way you guys executed as a unit? Uh, learn that, you know, we're all out there and we're all fighting. Um, everyone wants to be here. Everyone wants to make the team, be on this roster. 
Um, but, but more importantly, you know, everyone was willing to fight with one another. Um, you know, a big thing that we're trying to get in our locker room is just the, the brotherhood and, you know, what we do for each other and, and, and how we go about our day. Um, and, and I think you see it out there. You know, there's no selfish guys out there, you know, doing their own thing, running their own plays, whatever it may be. Um, but everyone, all 11 guys on the field at one time working together to achieve a goal. You talk about the, the selflessness. Did you see the blitz pick up by Tyler on that last touchdown? No, I didn't. You didn't see it? Yeah. He, he really got after it. But, I mean, it really, to me, showed the level of physicality which this team wants to perform at, and that was something that Arthur talked about. Is that something that you see from this offense, is that y'all are playing with a certain level of physicality? Yeah, for sure. And we knew that, you know, coming into Detroit, Detroit is a, uh, you know, a tough, gritty city. And, and we know that's what Coach Campbell prides, you know, the, the Lions on it is being tough and being physical. Um, and so Coach, in our, our pregame speech at the hotel, you know, he told us that. He, he said, we're going to have to come out here and out physical them um, because that's what they pride themselves on. So, you know, I felt like we did a great job of that today. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like we have a lot of room to improve on, um, both on the physical and mental aspect of the game. Uh, but again, you know, we're going to get back to it tomorrow and Sunday and, you know, come back next week with New York. All right, here with Falcons running back Kadri Allison, and the running game had to feel pretty good today. How, how do you feel out there, and how do you feel the running game did as a whole? Uh, it felt great. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the offensive line really controlled the line of scrimmage today. Um, that's something that we've really been harping on and, and pressing on here throughout camp is moving the line of scrimmage and controlling the line of scrimmage. And those guys did a great job, you know, and, and it, it was just great to get out there and, and have some fun. I know you played behind a number of different offensive linemen in different combinations, but what were you seeing in front of you as those blocks were developing? It was, there, there was lanes. There was lanes to run. Um, you know, those guys did a great job creating lanes for, for me to run. Um, and just and just effort, man. It just, there's a, a ton of effort out there. Those guys are, you know, grinding all the way to the whistle. So you got you to gotta always appreciate those guys in the trenches. Obviously, a lot of folks are going to be talking about the quarterbacks. What did you see out of Marcus? And we got a long look at Desmond as well. What did you see? Absolutely. Um, I think the one thing that you've seen from both of them is how dynamic they are. Mm -hmm. They can take off with their legs, and they can also throw the ball as well. So, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a lot to our offense. You know, you got to guard. You know, we got so many different pieces and, you know, you got the run game and then you got to worry about the quarterback run as well. So, you know, having those two guys that are mobile and able to throw the ball helps our offense a lot. We hear so much from Coach Smith about situational football. You guys score in the two minute at the end of the first half. You score at the end. of. I see the smile on your face. Yeah. I mean, how, how good is that to see? It's great because that's, that's what you practice. We practice it every day, those situations, going through two minute, end of game. And that's when and Coach Smith, you know, he talks about it a lot. Those were the games are won. You know, a lot, I don't, I'm not sure on the specific percentage, but a lot of NFL games come down to one possession, last possession. Mm -hmm. So winning those close games and winning those, you know, those last possession games is important. Last thing for me, Kadri, biggest positive takeaway from this one and the biggest, all right, here's something I can circle that we can work on. Um, I think I think the biggest positive is, uh, you know, I, I feel like I ran hard, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and brought some physicality to the game. And then the next step is how can I make those, you know, those runs I had, turn them into bigger runs. You know, I want to break for 40, 50 yard runs. So just working on that still. still. Falcons running back. Yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, Coach Smith talked about coming up here and, and, and you know, coming out here with a win. Um, and, you know, me and the younger guys, we had talked about, you know, hey, we're going to go, we're going to go and win this thing. That's why we came up here. So, um, you know, just happy to come out with a win. I feel like you had home field advantage playing in Michigan last year? Um, I don't know. <laughs> It's a little up the road. Yeah, yeah. No, um, no, happy to be back in Michigan on obviously the other side, but, uh, you know, it's just happy to come out with the win. Quite a first professional football game, though. I mean, what was what that memory going to be like? Are you keeping the game ball? Do you already have it like a, a spot in the house earmarked for it? No, no spot in the house. Uh, I think one of the equipment guys, I think Joey, uh, may, may have snagged it for me. All right, here with tight end Parker Hesse. First of all, take me through that touchdown play. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just kind of like some schemed up on the goal line and um, leaking out. Des just floated it out there, did a great job. And, you know, I knew after uh, the one I dropped three plays before, I had to go get that one. There's, there's no choice, yeah. All right, well, you brought it up so I can ask you about it. How good was it if you, if you have a drop uh, and then two plays later they come right back to you and you're able to come through? Yeah, I mean, that's something we talk about a lot here. Um, you know, not everything's going to go your way out there. You know, sometimes you're going to fail, you're going to get beat. 
um, but you can't let that affect you and carry over. So, I, you know, like I said, I'm obviously very upset about dropping that one, but I knew, you know, if I got another opportunity, I got to go make a count. Desmond said he kind of came to you in the huddle and said, all right, let's just do a one play, end this thing. What do, what do you remember from that? <laughs> I was kind of tired. I don't remember him saying that. Fair enough. But, uh, but yeah, like, you know, like I said, we, we pieced a nice drive together there. We were moving the ball, um, coming up with plays. So yeah, you, you got to finish with, with seven there. We can't come away with three, and, and that's what we did. So. What did you see out of these two quarterbacks, uh, Marcus and Desmond, getting a lot of run out there? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously, you know, they're very talented guys, um, and, and both, you know, leaders too. That's that's uh, one thing that's nice going in the huddle with both of them is, you know, you feel like, hey, we're we're in here, we're gonna move the ball as an offense. Um, so I think, you know, it's a great testament to them, and you know, I really like playing with them. Biggest thing you're going to take forward from this, back to Flowery Branch and into the next game. Yeah, I mean, just the, you know, the things that we got to improve on. I mean, obviously, you know, there's good things out there today. Great, great way to finish the game. Um, but you know, there's a lot of things that, that we got to get better at um, as we continue to ramp up through this preseason and into the regular season. So that you know, that's going to be the focus, you know, going forward next week.